What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Almighty Max. And today we're back to Kanye West exposing Kim K for selling her soul to Balenciaga. Man, if you're new, drop a like, subscribe, roll to 10K. I know it's not the type of content y'all niggas usually watch, but I really just want to speak about this whole Kanye thing. Him talking about he's a Nazi, and then Balenciaga coming out with the child predatory things, and how like you know they're like they I don't know, bro. This whole this whole world, bro. I feel like we live we really living in the fucking Matrix right now, bro. A bunch of dumb shit is just happening for no fucking reason. So this is getting straight to it, man. I feel like. I don't know. West I don't know is breaking on. his silence on the Balenciaga scandal and exposing his ex-wife Kim Kardashian for selling her soul to the controversial fashion house. Like, is it Christ-like or is it not Christ-like? Kim is currently facing major backlash over her response to Balenciaga's disgusting ad campaign featuring children, and it looks like Kim's disturbing connection to Balenciaga runs deeper than we thought. But I don't know what they did. They were, you basically put in like bondage on teddy bears. Then they had like a uh, they had like a photo shoot, and one of the photos had a book with a bunch of kids naked with like blood on them and stuff like that. Like it's like really graphic things, bro. That is like that like why like why is that even there? You know what I'm saying I know Balenciaga is a brand known for trying to push boundaries. The niggas dress like they ain't fucking Mad Max, my nigga. Like you you see the fashion shows online, and they're like a fucking the Mad Max movie, bro. The niggas be they be trying to push the boundaries. Shit that nobody even gonna fucking wear. I never seen nobody in the street looking like this. So I don't know why y'all niggas doing this shit, but. Y'all took it too far, bro. I don't know if y'all niggas thought we thought y'all thought niggas was gonna be cool with this shit, but nah, nigga, we we don't play with our kids, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, so dude, what exactly did Kanye reveal about Kim selling her soul to Balenciaga? Uh, uh, a lot of imagery that's been coming out and things that I'll tell, things I, I told Kim this yesterday. I said, look, any form of I like how you got an Adidas boat on. Any form of pornography, like it You've probably heard by now that the luxury fashion house Balenciaga is under fire because of their extremely inappropriate ad campaigns featuring children and disturbing symbolism. Let's look at this pic. Let's analyze this pic. Campaigns featuring children. So they got. Look at this shit. They're all like a bunch of bondage gear. I don't know if y'all niggas ever watched porn before, but this is shit they be using in that porn shit, bro. Like tying niggas up and shit. You know what I'm saying? A teddy bear looking kind of like, you know what I mean? Hella bondage -y. I don't know why they have a kid doing all this, you know what I'm saying? And disturbing and symbolism. And before we get into all that, you should keep in mind that oh. Balenciaga recently experienced a huge revival after its creative director and Kim Kardashian's close friend, Demna, staged Balenciaga's first couture show since 1968. Today, Balenciaga Haute Couture, a document for fashion. Like, come on, who's rocking that shit, bro? Come on. When will I ever see a bitch in real life rocking that shit? The day I see a nigga rocking that shit, nigga? I mean, I guess, to be honest, that is like, if it, for a rainy day, that's not that bad. I mean, you don't got to hold the umbrella. But still, ain't nobody rocking that shit, bro. Fashion history. Demna Vasalia at work. Yeah, on, the man. first Haute Couture show. A literal ball on, this, on their fucking heads, bro. From the house of Balenciaga since February 1968. This is no ordinary fashion show. Demna was previously known mainly in the context of streetwear, but after his haute couture collection got a stamp of approval from Hollywood A-listers, suddenly Balenciaga replaced Gucci as the most popular celebrity brand. And it was Kim Kardashian who single-handedly did more than anyone else to make Balenciaga the new IT brand. Interestingly, Kim's love affair with Balenciaga coincided with her separation from Kanye, and as soon as she filed the divorce papers, she aggressively started promoting Balenciaga. However, after Balenciaga Balenciaga recently found itself in the middle of a shocking scandal involving children and occult imagery. Fans expected Kim, who is a mom of four, to make a stand and immediately cut ties with Balenciaga. But Kim's response to the Balenciaga controversy was not just disappointing but downright disturbing. And it might have had something to do with Kanye's recent comments about Hollywood sacrifices and celebrities who sell their souls for fame. But before we get into Kim's reaction, here's a quick recap of all the dark and twisted things Balenciaga got exposed for. It all started in early November when Balenciaga shared a series of very creepy photos taken for their new gift shop ad campaign. The photos featured young children posing with teddy bears dressed in bondage and surrounded by shocking props. Some of the disturbing props included a child's drawing of the devil and a roll of yellow caution tape that misspelled the word Balenciaga to show the word Ball, which is the name of a fertility demon and one of the princes of hell. By the way, back in March, Kim wore a bizarre Outfit. But the thing though, Kanye cannot be a fucking hypocrite though, my nigga. Cause you was you was signed to Balenciaga, nigga. You was promoting Balenciaga too, bro. I know Kanye wanna preach his he's he's uh the new pro new age prophet. 
what I'm saying? And and this is coming from a fucking big ass Kanye West fan, bro. Everybody who knows me in real life knows I fucking love Kanye's music. And I used to look not look up to that because I never met the nigga, but it was like I was like, yo, this nigga's a cool guy type. So he, he looked like he's a cool guy. Sometimes he's misunderstood. You know what I'm saying? That's what I, that's how I used to see it. But like now, I don't know. It's looking difficult with the shit he said about him being a fucking Nazi is fucking insane. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know. But regardless, you can't be a hypocrite. You can't just denounce Kim K. Because Kanye was... You also sold your soul too, my nigga. You, they, they've been on this shit. It's not the first time these niggas was on this type of timing, nigga. You know what I'm saying? They've been on this demonic shit. And you know what I mean? Like, come on, bro. Made entirely of the same Balenciaga yellow tape. And also, take a look at this recent clip from the Kardashians on Hulu, with Kim making fun of Kris Jenner for pronouncing Balenciaga and repeatedly saying the word ball. No, but tell say, say Balenciaga. <laughs> she goes, Balenciaga. Ball. Go, go I'm a baller. But we're just scratching the surface here. If you thought the teddy bear photo shoot was creepy, wait till you see what Balenciaga put in another recent campaign they did for their collaboration with Adidas. One photo from the campaign showed a handbag from the collection on top of a pile of documents, and one document was purposely left poorly hidden. When you zoom in on this particular document, you will see that the text references the 2008 Supreme Court case United States versus Williams. Now, in case you're wondering what's so special about this court case, here's a brief explanation from a lawyer. U.S. versus Michael Williams. Michael was in a chat room under the name of Lisa in Miami. He then started up a conversation with another individual who was actually a Secret Service agent, where he ultimately sent a link containing seven photos of child pornography. But we're still not done, and it gets creepier from here. After Balencia's recent campaign went viral for all the wrong reasons, internet sleuths discovered a bunch of new disturbing details about people working for Balenciaga. One of these people is Russian-born stylist Lada Vokova, who has been the chief stylist for Balenciaga since 2014. Bro, Lada recently locked her Instagram profile in Balenciaga since- Why she got babies that look like they covered in blood, bro? Let me move my camera. Like, look at this shit, bro. Like, what? What? Yo, bro, what? These niggas be... Yo, bro, I ain't lie to you, my nigga. I feel like sometimes we choose to be blinded. I mean, I've never seen this photo before. I'm not really into Balenciaga like that. I don't really rock. I have a couple designer things. I ain't gonna lie. I don't got no Balenciaga shit, though. Thank God I don't. But I do got some Gucci, and Gucci is owned by Balenciaga. I mean, I think Gucci and Balenciaga are the same parent company, so it's basically the same shit. I do got some Gucci. I ain't gonna lie. But I'm not into the whole fashion shit. I'm not really a fashion nigga. But a lot of this shit is weird, bro. Like, they be exposing themselves, bro. Like, they just put it out in plain sight for us. And we just, I don't know. I feel like we really just choose to ignore it. Since 2014, Lotta recently locked her Instagram profile and deleted over 200 photos, many of which featured children and all kinds of dark and creepy imagery. However, fans managed to take screenshots of some of the photos from Lotta's Instagram before she locked it. And before we show you the photos, please keep in mind that some of them are extremely creepy. Now, if you take a closer look at the comment section of this creepy photo from Lotta's Instagram, you will notice a comment from Mark J. Jacobs, another one of Kim Kardashian's favorite designers, who wrote, So good. Many fans are now speculating that Lotta was involved in Balencia's recent campaign because the aesthetic of the campaign matches the photos Lotta shares on her Instagram. However, it just gets worse the more you look into it. For example, take a look at the framed diploma behind the model in this photo from the Balenciaga and Adidas ad campaign. The diploma shows the name John Philip Fisher, and this happens to be the name of an 80-year-old man who was convicted in 2018 on seven charges of misconduct against his granddaughter. And then there's another creepy detail lurking in the background of a different photo from this campaign. When you zoom in on the stack of books on the table behind the woman, you'll notice that one of the books is by Michael Bormans. Bormans is a Belgian painter and filmmaker whose surreal works frequently feature children and bizarre rituals. One of Bormans' recent painting series is called Fire from the Sun. And here's how the publisher of the book containing these paintings describes them on their official website. Fire from the Sun highlights Michael Bormans new work, which features toddlers engaged in playful but mysterious acts with sinister overtones and insinuations of and now, take a look at some of Borman's paintings from this collection, and then compare them to the Balenciaga outfits Kim Kardashian and her children recently wore. There are simply too many coincidences when it comes to this whole Balenciaga situation. And this is exactly why fans wanted Kim to speak up and cut ties with the brand. But instead of immediately condemning Balenciaga, Kim stayed silent for almost a week. And even after Balenciaga removed their disgusting campaign, Kim continued sharing selfies dressed head to toe in Balenciaga and Adidas. 
Adidas. And then finally, after getting pressured by fans to say something, Kim decided to address the controversy on Twitter. However, instead of cutting ties with Balenciaga, Kim said she is currently reevaluating her relationship with the brand and basing it off their willingness to accept accountability for something that should have never happened to begin with. And though... Wait, y'all noticed this? You know what I'm saying? She, she said when, when Balenciaga and Adidas... When they were in a position to drop Kanye West for the things he said, and he did say a lot of bad things, you feel me? And he deserved to be dropped by them. I ain't gonna lie to you. He deserved it. He was being racist. He was being, you know what I mean? He, he was coming at a, a group of people that did not deserve, that did not deserve the, you know, the way they were being spoke to. They was quick to drop that nigga with the quickness, my nigga. You feel me? Everybody was on their ass. Kim Kardashian didn't give this shit a week and didn't say, I need to reevaluate my husband or my ex-husband and my baby father's thoughts and my relationship, and if he's willing to take none of that, she ain't give, they ain't give this nigga no chance to grow, no chance to apologize, you know what I'm saying, yes, he did double down, but they didn't tell him, yo, bro, you apologize, we will accept you back into this shit, they just dropped the nigga swiftly, you know what I'm saying, swiftly, with the quickness, you know what I'm saying, but now that it's them on the other side, you know what I'm saying, Kim K, it's now that it's affecting her pockets, and like Kanye said, she sold her soul, my nigga, you feel me? All these famous niggas, I, I ain't believe at first, but now I'm starting to believe in my nigga. These niggas selling their souls, and if that's what it takes to be famous, bro, I don't want it, bro. You know what I'm saying? If, if I gotta sell my soul to become a famous YouTuber, my nigga, I'm not doing it, bro. Because your soul's worth too much, my nigga. Like, I don't know. Shit is weird, bro. And it's crazy, because I've been watching shit like this, like the Illuminati videos, conspiracy videos. It's like that when I was a kid, bro, I was like in the fifth grade watching these shits. And I used to believe that shit back in the day. Then you grow up and you're like, yo, like, I was bugging. Like, these niggas just be reaching, but now. Back then, at least, they were more subliminal with this shit. Now, these niggas just showing you, like, they really just, like, doing shit with kids. They sacrificing shit. They got, like, demonic shit and, and ads, my nigga. Like, bro, what is this world, bro? I don't know what this is anymore. Like, what world we live in? Shit is crazy to me, bro. Shit is crazy. Oh, and the, and the, and she the was crazier part to me is... Outraged by the recent Balenciaga campaign. That, like, niggas just gonna keep... Like, this is gonna happen for, like... they're gonna We're gonna cancel Balenciaga for maybe this month. Once January rolls in, the conversation started to die down. They'll drop some new heat. They'll sign a new famous nigga that we fuck with to rock they shit. Or they'll just disguise themselves as another brand. They're just, you know what I mean? All the investors from Balenciaga just go to Gucci. All the photographers, all the designers just go to Gucci. You know what I'm saying? Go to Louis. And then we'll just be buying this shit, the same shit all over again, bro. And it's like, no real change is going to happen, bro. Like, Because we, we really have no power in this shit, bro. Because all this shit is made by the same niggas, bro. She also praised the fashion house for apologizing and removing the controversial photos. In speaking with them, I believe they understand the seriousness of the issue and will take the necessary measures for this to never happen again, Kim added. But this was not the response fans wanted to hear from Kim. And the fact that she said that she would reevaluate her relationship with Balenciaga got a lot of people talking about Kim putting profit above everything else and selling her soul for money and fame. One fan responded to Kim's tweet saying, Don't act innocent. You know fine and well what they have been up to and you fully support it. I wouldn't be surprised if you sold your kids' souls to them. Anyone who is outraged by these wouldn't be reevaluating their relationship. It would end there and then. But it's not just the... And the things that I don't understand about these famous niggas, and it's, it's, it's easy for us to say, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, end their relationship when she's probably getting like 100 mil from these niggas a year or something like that. She's probably getting an insane amount. But it's like, I get it. You're getting a bunch of money. And, like, for a nigga like me, if, like, that's, that's your soul. Let's say my job comes out and they pay me 100K a year and it comes out they've been doing some wild shit and they're like, yo, Max, they announced his job. It's like, damn, nigga, like, this job paying me good, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's all I got. I don't understand that. You know what I'm saying? I'm a regular nigga and shit like that. You still got to pay your bills. But, Kim, you got all the money in the fucking world, bro. Like, yes, I understand 100 mil is 100 mil, but you can make that up with another brand. You know what I'm saying? You can make that up just with your show. Like, you can make that up somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's not going to hurt you. So, like, I don't know. These people, like, they choose. They I don't know if they value money so much or what it is. But it's like, or they're, they're just involved themselves. I don't know what it is, bro. Even, like, because these celebrities really don't stand for shit, bro. They, they, they'll they talk just to please the public. But they don't stand for nothing, bro. They really don't stand for nothing. If if, if the fans don't ever say nothing, Kim would never apologize. She just moved on with her day, got her bag. Uh, and, you know what I mean? Same thing I call out another nigga I love, and and not love, cause love is crazy. But another nigga I look up to, not look up to, that's crazy too. Another nigga I fuck with in the in the famous world, I guess you could say. I don't know, never met that nigga, don't know the nigga. Like I said, I just like the way he plays basketball. You know what I'm saying he's a cool guy. LeBron James, you know what I'm saying when they ask him about, he's always you know the guy that stands up for equality, fairness. Uh, he's always the first one to talk about injustices. 
You know what I'm saying? He spoke about they asked him some shit about when he was in China, about China. And uh he was quick to like to take back what he said when Nike was like, yo, bro, like chill. You know what I'm saying? You you make we have companies, we have factories here in China, you're gonna fuck up our relationship with the factories in China. Relax, nigga. Stay quiet. He took it back, apologized, rolled it back once he seen the dollar amount was getting affected. You know what I mean? All these niggas, they're just in it for a dollar, bro. And I don't know. I don't know if I, I, I can't speak on it because I'm not in that position to be like, yo, I'll, I'll be willing to sacrifice 100 mil. But right now at this moment, I feel like if I got $1 billion, nigga, I, would, I, would, I wouldn't mind losing on 100 mil. You know what I'm saying? Just for morals reasons. You know what I'm saying? That's what I feel like right now. And I hope if I get to the point where I can get a billion, I stay, I stay at that at that point. I hope I can stay there. Fans who are saying this, Kanye also recently addressed the Balenciaga controversy and said the reason celebrities are staying silent on this is because they are controlled. A lot of conversation about the moral compass uh, related to uh, uh, a lot of imagery that's been coming out and things that I'll tell, things that I told Kim this yesterday. I said, look, any form of perversion is bad in God's eyes. Any form of pornography, like it tears apart families. It's used to tear families apart. Kanye then seemingly took a swipe at Kim, saying that the disturbing imagery like the things we saw in the Balenciaga campaigns is used on purpose to destroy morals and break up families. So in Hollywood, people say, okay, this is right, but this is wrong. It's all wrong in God's eyes. And that's where we have to stand up and raise our standards. But what is your opinion on Kim's relationship with Balenciaga? Were you surprised by her response? Did she really sell her soul for money and fame? Leave your comments down below. Hey, man, if you enjoyed man, drop a like, subscribe, roll to 10K. Uh, this is a different type of video. I, you know what I mean? So I'm trying to keep up with more like trendy shit. This is more like being talked about right now, so I want to give my thoughts on it because I thought it was real weird that like, like we always had our theories that these these famous niggas and these corporations is doing stuff like you know rituals or like they're satanic or maybe they do stuff with kids, blah blah blah. We've always had that theory, but now like they're just putting it straight in our faces and like people still like we get mad about it. Like I said, we get mad about it for a week and we just move on type shit. So I don't know. Uh, this world is a is a weird world we live in, man. It, we truly do live like in a matrix or some shit. I don't fucking know, man. If you're into the, uh, anyways, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Ain't shit really gonna change. It's your boy Mighty Max, and I'm out.